Hey guys, long time no talk. I am so excited to film a video for you and I have some really exciting products to show you and I just want to let you guys know that it is snowing outside right now and it is I think 21 degrees I checked on my phone. 21 degrees, yeah. Really, really cold and I have just been inside my house trying to keep warm, um, burning candles and just relaxing and I got some new beauty products to show you. Um, I swung by Sephora and Nordstrom and I'm gonna, and probably from the time, a higher end haul. Um, most of the stuff I got was from Chanel and YSL. I got a few things, um, I just got one thing actually from um, Too Faced, but I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on what I got. So the first place I went to was Sephora, and I only picked up two things. Um, the first thing was this new product from Too Faced. It is the Better Than False Lashes Brush On False Lash Kit, I guess you would call it that. Um, this is a kit that basically makes your lashes look like false lashes. Um, so basically what's inside of this kit is you open it up, and it includes two mascaras. The gold container is just a typical, you know, black mascara. And then the white tube has tiny little fibers. So basically it tells you all the steps here, but I'll just explain it to you real quick. Basically you curl your lashes, apply two coats of the base of like the regular mascara, and just do like one or two coats of that. Then while it's still wet, grab the white um, tube and inside are tiny little white fibers. So when you brush them onto your lashes, you're going to see tiny little white specks. And those are the those are the fibers um, holding onto the lashes to give it more length and volume and stuff like that. So, and then after that, you just apply the top coat, the black mascara over it, so it just doesn't look gray. And there you go. Now, obviously, I've I have used this product. I do really like it. Um, it's pretty good. The thing is, though, it's like in the kit, like they show you like how it looks afterwards, and it's like she looks like she has like four lashes over her regular lashes. It looks crazy, and your lashes. I'm sorry, but they don't look like that. Um, but they, mine did look longer. They did look more defined and more voluminous. Um, if you guys want me to do a video on this um, kit, like showing you step by step on how to do it, um, let me know in the comments below and I will be more than happy to show you guys it. From YSL, this is the Rouge Pur, Rouge Pur, Rouge Pur? I think that's how you say it, Couture Glossy Stain. Now this came out a couple months ago. Um, it's been getting a lot of hype. I've been hearing people love it. Some people don't like it, but I wanted to try it. So um, I got number 18 in Rose Pest Pastel. Yeah, number 18. And um, these are actually very similar to the new L'Oreal glosses that came out because of the applicator. They both have the flat kind of tip brush. Um, which is interesting. I have worn this. Um, really like it so far. It's, it's nice. It's light. It's not sticky or stiff or anything on like that on your lips. Um, I do like the L'Oreal one as well, so I'm probably going to do a review um, on my blog of like comparing the two, so stay tuned for that. Next, I went to Nordstrom, and actually this haul was purchased over a two-time, like I purchased all these products two times. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I got some in store and then I ordered some stuff online. So, I basically have been doing a lot of research about these products, obviously. Um, I know some people don't like watching high-end hauls. Some people just don't enjoy it. I personally like watching them. Um, I think it's fun. And I always like to experiment with all different types of makeup brands, whether it be drugstore or higher end or anything like that. So, um, you know, if you guys don't like watching this, then, you know, Oh well, but if you do want to um, see what I got, then stay tuned and I'll show you in a sec. So basically, I got majority of the stuff was from the spring collections. Now, um, I went online, looked at the collections, kind of picked out really what I wanted to try. Um, and I went into Nordstrom and an associate came and helped me. And she was really helpful and I got three things from her. And then I went back home a couple days later and I was just doing a little bit more and I bought some more stuff. So... I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got in person first. So I have been dying to try this foundation out forever. And this foundation I've heard so many good things about. Almost everyone who's tried it loves it. So I was like, I really want to try this one. So this is the Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation, um, number 12 Beige Rose. 
and I have worn this. I'm wearing it right now. I love this foundation. It's so great. Um, the bottle looks like this, and the cool thing is, is you got to shake it up like this every time you use it, and um, this just has a little pump at the top, and basically, you know, I apply this with my fingers, and it gives really nice coverage. It's light to medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's, like, really, really heavy coverage, um, but you can definitely build it up. It's really liquidy, so if you're not a liquid person, um, I wouldn't say this is the best one, but if you want something that feels light and fresh on your face, this is really great to try. So, um, I really, really like this foundation so far, so... And then um, when I was in the store, um, I tried this blush on and it was beautiful. This is the uh, powder blush in number 72, Rose Initiale. Um, just a black box. I don't know why I show you guys that. But all these Chanel products come in like this little pouch, um, velour pouch, which I've probably explained before. And you open it up and it's got the CCs. And this color is really, really pretty. Um, let me take the little cover off. I always like to keep the cover on. Basically, that is a rosy pink blush that is beautiful on the t on the cheeks. It gives a nice healthy pink glow, which I love, and it's it's beautiful. I think this would be great on almost all skin types. It's not too bright and it's not too like shiny or anything like that. I really like that blush. It's beautiful. And the last thing I got in store was the headliner of the spring collection, and it is the Illuminating Powder. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, this was a splurge for sure. This is a pretty expensive product. But she tried it on me, and I was like, okay. So I caved. Um, same packaging, and it's got a band in the back, so you just pull it up. And it's got a little sponge applicator, so you can just pat it on the tops of your cheekbones. And then inside, take the black cover off. And this powder is so beautiful. Like, it is gorgeous. Um, it's just a really nice um, shimmery pink highlight that's beautiful on the tops of the cheekbones. I'm going to do um, swatches and close-up photos on my blog of all of this stuff. So if you guys can't really see, you know, all the little details, then the little details on when I take the photos, so, um, but it's beautiful, I love this, and this is great, um, just as a nice shimmery highlight, you know, because I love highlighting products, I think they're probably one of my favorite things to buy, so, yeah, all right, so this, um, that is all I got in store, then a few nights later, I was just on the Nordstrom site, just being bored, got some more stuff, so, um, this is all from the spring collection, so um, I didn't, because the rose blush and the foundation was not in the collection, obviously. So this is the blush that is in the spring collection. This is in number 76, Frivoli. Um, it's a bright, corally, like, orange color. I'm wearing it on my cheeks now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. It's, like, it's very subtle. I love that about Chanel blushes. They're not so bright because I don't like blushes that look like make me look like I'm a clown or something so this one is definitely a step up from the Rose Initial blush it's a bright candy coral color which I think coral is probably going to be very popular again this year for the summer beautiful beautiful I love this actually in store I was kind of like that is really bright but I think with Chanel blushes you know, do you kind of, like, I over, I underestimate them, like, oh, it's just going to be a big orange ball, like, on, like, blob on my face, like, that's not going to be pretty, but they're very, very buildable and subtle, which I love. Next, ooh, where is it? There we go. Next, I got the lipstick, one of the lipsticks from the collection. This is the Rouge Allure Velvet. Um, lipstick in number 43, La Favorite, which is, I'm wearing it on my lips now. It's a very light coral color. Um, the packaging is really cool on this. So it's like, it's got Chanel written there and you just pop it open and you twist it up and it's this just bright corally orange color. But the th great thing about this is I applied this on my lips with a lip brush because I think if I just applied it out of the bullet, it would be way too intense. And that's the great thing about lipstick is you can kind of just build it up to whatever intensity you want. You get a lot more control with a lip brush than just out of the bullet. 
All right, guys. And the last thing from Chanel is the um, eyeliner that I love. This is in number 102 Barrel. It's this beautiful lilac color that um, I saw in Lisa Eldridge. She did a video on Chanel products and she was raving about this eyeliner saying it's just great for the waterline to brighten and whiten your eyes. And it's just a very pale lavender color. Lilac, lavender. I'll do close up photos again of these um, so you guys can see in detail. I'll have like my blog down below and everything. This is beautiful. I love this so much. It's just amazing. Um, it's just a really nice highlight for the eye. Um, you can just use it. You can just wear it by itself as like a highlighting product. And then um, I got two samples from Chanel um, when I was in store. When my associate removed my makeup and she applied, you know, before she applied the foundation, she said that my skin was a little dehydrated. And so she used this on my skin. This is the Hydra Beauty Serum. Um, it's just a little container. And it is amazing. First of all, the smell is to die for. Like, oh my god. God, it's so good. Um, it smells so nice. It makes my skin feel so soft. The only problem is I looked online. This is like $100. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Why? Why do you do this to me? Um, it's no fair because this really is a great product. And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get it because I still have a lot of moisturizer left. And I'm not like... Once I use that up, maybe I'll try this. But until then, I love this product. And it's great. And then the other... Sh um, the other sample that she gave me is the new mascara Le Volume de Chanel um, in number 10 Noir. Excuse me. I tried the Metabol Intense one last year and it's, oh my gosh, that mascara was amazing. I didn't repurchase it because it is really expensive. It's $30. Um, but I like this mascara so far. I've tried it. It's really good. All right, and from YSL from Nordstrom, I only got two things. I got the Volupt Sheer Candy Glossy Balm Crystal Color in number 12, Tasty Raspberry. I actually took this to class with me yesterday in my purse, and it is amazing. I love YSL lipsticks. These are the best amazing um so the packaging is just like this silver color and it's beautiful you know why i sell they always do an amazing job on the packaging and it's just this sheer kind of not really sheer but on the lips a little sheer just a nice bright pink first of all it smells so sweet and candy like it's so good and they just apply to your lips like butter like they just melt onto your lips and it feels amazing they're always great to reapply i love putting this on my lips. It's great. And the last thing I got from YSL is the creme de blush in number nine. I really like cream blushes. I don't have a lot of them, but I do like them. And I wanted to try a YSL one, um, just to sh like the gold box. And then it's a bright, bright candy pink color. Um, I'm going to do, you know, once again, close up photos, swatches, all that stuff on my blog. So you guys can go check that out. Um, if you want to see more close up photos of that. So, um, yeah, guys, that is everything I got. Um, I know that's a lot of stuff, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, that, um, even though I do love drugstore products, I do like to expand, you know, where I get my makeup from. Um, I love trying all different brands and products of makeup and I am so excited to try these products out and photograph them and blog about them because they're just so fun. And I'm not sure, I don't think this is probably going to be my last big purchase for a while because I'm kind of just stop because I have a lot of makeup and I'm kind of just going to slow down my purchases. I'm only going to buy things if I need or just to like a repurchase of something. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having a great day. If you guys are living in like negative degree temperatures around the world or somewhere that's really cold and snowing, stay warm because I know how you feel. If you're somewhere, you know, where it's super warm and hot, I'm jealous. I wish I could be there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!